Alright, now that we have allowed the, uh, these two parts to dry off, the next part is to actually put in the, the supports for the rear engine uh, assembly. For this, it has to be in this format where you have to just gently put it in, like so. There's a sliding divider there. And just slide it in all the way, like that. Repeat the process over here. There's a little resistance, but that's good as long as it's nice and snug and it doesn't come off. And then finally, you're supposed to be putting these guys on. This is this requires glue, obviously. Remember, there is no snap fit features on this kit. This is all glue. I'm going to take drops of glue and let it drop down along the edge of the part so that it holds on to it internally. guy on first. There is no orientation on how it goes. It's the same on both ends. So just slide it in there and let it set in. Let's do it on this guy. much say we're almost done okay let's uh, put these parts together as it was stated in part six of the book of oh, the manual excuse me I'm gonna do the sides first clearly I gotta put ample amount This thing dries quickly, so I have to make sure I have to work fast. Here we go. Alright. We'll do the same here. I could probably use the tester's glue on this because it covers a wider area. There we go. Give it about five seconds of pressure. Yeah, that should be fine. Well, before I put the tower or the bridge, let me put these guys on first. This is this is like the closest thing, closest part to a snap-on than all the other parts on this. But um, I'm going to glue it along the edge just to be safe. Also, when I prime this guy, the 
primer and the paint will hold on stronger. This one's a bit loose, so let's hold on to it for five seconds. It's good enough. I'm going to try to restrict movement on the wings as best as possible. And clearly on the bottom, you'll see a gap here. pressure just to be safe <clears throat> now this guy snaps into place pretty good let me just touch it up a bit down here. And we'll just pour a small amount around the sides. Alright, it's pretty nice. Okay. Next, we're going to put in the engine assembly. And this one's kind of like the same thing as with the wings. It actually snaps into place pretty good. But I'm not going to leave it alone just the way it is. And according to the manual, this lower portion goes over it like so. Or something like that. There we go. Like like so. But before I do that, make sure it, let's make sure it stays into place. Get it into the grooves, to the nooks and crannies, you could say. And of course, get the one behind it as well. And clearly, I don't have to worry about filing or anything like that. So it's this part that I want to put over. And now there's a. There are these notches here for this. Let's let's make sure it stays into place. 